when solidarity started, it was obvious that every Pole helped in any way he could. And we, we started by collecting clothes and sending parcels via um, medical aid for Poland. And then a group of young people from Oxford approached me. Among them, Radek Sikorski and Władek Bartoszewski. Would I organize a ball? Uh, they wanted to organize a ball and would I help? And I said I would on condition that it was for medical aid for Poland. And so I organized a ball which was a great success. It was written about as one of the best uh, balls of the season uh, at the Oxford and Cambridge Union. And all the money we raised went to medical aid. The following uh, year I did the same. And so I, uh, besides sort of helping my collecting clothes and things, I started the fundraising. And that's in, uh, when someone approached me. And there was a phone call one day and a strange voice said, do you like children? And I said, well, in principle, yes. <laughs> Would you be prepared to help Polish children? And like a good Christian, I said, why me? And he said, uh, well, uh, we went to the Polish uh, consulate and Mr. Kohanowski, the one who died on the plane, uh, said, you just might be interested. And I knew uh, uh, Mr. Kohanowski very well. And I said, well, if he recommends me, I might be interested. But what children? And he told me about the Lyshetsky homes, which is a very long story, which I won't tell you now. But I agreed to help. And we had a meeting where Grazina Seidlitz donated 2,000 pounds. And I thought then, I and Lot gave me two free tickets to Poland. And we went and we stayed with Caritas at that time, with her father, Christoph Claire. But we visited the children's homes and we just fell in love with the children. And we came back here and we decided to start a, a flip which is Friends of the Lyshetsky Homes in Poland. Think of the future and your children. No lying, no cheating, no robbing each other. Work for the best of Poland and the future, not for yourself. Stop trying to lie in your own pocket. Work for Poland. We were a great nation once. We could be a great nation again, not immediately, it would take a couple of generations. But if we work towards that, with honesty and decency and dignity, bring back the old values. Remember what we were learned on our mother's knee. Buk honor ojczyzna. My father had that engraved on his sword. Bring that back. Honor i ojczyzna. Not myself, not myself and my family even. The best for the country, the best for your town, your village, the country. We could all pull together. The biggest wrong the Russians did us was they robbed us of our honor. They taught us to lie and to steal and to cheat. And once you've learned that, it takes generations to unlearn it.